<laughs> I've gotten requests over the last few years to show off the filter cart, or at least show how it how it works. So I thought I'd do a, a quick video and I would I'd show that. It's already built, so it can't really be a build video. But it's I left it on a couple weeks ago in the shop and I came back and it had seized up. It was it was just sort of humming and it wasn't actually blowing any air. What I'd like to do is take it apart and figure out what's going on. It seems to be working now. But it has some squeaks, which I think needs some lubrication. So in pulling it apart, I can show kind of how it's constructed and sort of the, the basic concept as to how it filters the air. <laughs> I'd like to vacuum off all of the dust that's on it before I start working on it. So it's not quite so dusty as I pull pieces off of it. So the basic idea is that there's, there are three filters around the outside that surround a space. And then there's another filter, a secondary filter inside. And behind that filter is a fan that blows the air out that way. So it's it's sucking the air into this space through these filters. They, they get the big particles and then this inner filter stays a little cleaner and hopefully catches the smaller particles. So if you look, if you look past the filter, you can see into the space where the fan is with the motor. It's all pretty simple. <laughs> so the, the structure is basically a torsion box at the top and at the bottom. And then th those are held in place by the four corners. And the, the four corners are each made out of two pieces of plywood that are screwed together to make an L. And so that those wrap the boxes and make the basic structure. So once you've got that, you just have to enclose that space and then divide it in the middle and you get a space for the fan and then a space for the plenum for the air to come in and be filtered and then shot out by the fan. I think maybe to get better access to the motor and see if there are bolts on the fan side of the motor, there may be. Take this panel off. Up. This is why I use screws on everything, because you never know when you're going to want to take something apart. It feels like the motor needs some lube somewhere. <laughs> I don't see any oil ports or grease ports or anything like that, so. As far as the electrical, I have a plug coming in and then that splits into two lines and one of those lines feeds an outlet so I can plug things in to the cart and then the other line goes to a switch and that switch then goes down to the motor. So that, that switch turns the motor on and off. The first thing to do is to pull the motor out. And I thought I'd take the pulley off. And it wasn't coming off, so I got my gear puller out. and pulled it off with that, and that seemed to work really well. I really couldn't see any obvious place to put oil or grease, so I just put some grease on what looked like the bushings where the shaft turns. I'm really not sure if that's what you're supposed to do, but it seems to help a little. It could, it could be better. So I made the decision to pull the motor apart and see if I could squirt some grease on the inside anywhere. And I got some grease in there, but 
it didn't really seem like this is what the solution was. So I put the motor back together again and I had everything lined up right and it was actually working pretty well. And then it arced. That's not good. It looks like what happened is some of the wires on the inside contacted with the fan on the inside and got a little frayed. So that motor now has too many issues, I think, to really be worth fixing. So I got out another motor I had, but after working on that for a little bit, I realized it didn't have a mount or, or a way to hold it in place. And I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of time building something that would do that. So I moved on to a third motor, which I think in the end turned out to be the best option as it turns at a slower rate than the original motor. And I think that's actually probably better for the filters that it doesn't push quite so much air through the system and really push the filters beyond where they really should be. So this, this motor works but it rotates in the wrong direction. So it says I need to interchange T5 and T8. Redoing the wiring wasn't as hard as, as it seemed. And then we'll see if it spins counterclockwise. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Worked. Amazing. Then I can put the motor into the case and put the belt back on. And with, with the belt in place, I could figure out exactly where the motor needs to go to hold the belt in tension. And I could bolt the motor back down to the case. And it works. And it seems to work really well. It blows a similar amount of air, but a little, a little bit less than it used to. And I put some oil on the fan bearings. So I got a, a new, nice, thick air filter for the main filter. I'm pretty sure it's not quite going to fit. <laughs> but we're going to make it fit. I don't think I really need any holds for it. It fits in there tight enough. And it's all back together again. And I can filter the air in the shop again. Thanks for watching. And I thought, oh, well, maybe, maybe it'll work itself out. I'll turn it on again. And that wasn't a good idea. <laughs>